back on the eight horse mogul piston uh, making project um, this video is part five and we will be making the bosses uh, machined out for the wrist pin this is probably the hardest uh, part of making this piston just getting it uh, jigged up and figuring out how to do this with the tools that I have uh, available to me uh, is just a really hard thing to do it's a three-dimensional uh, set up and uh, boring procedure so um, let's get going we'll start with a little outline here of what's gonna uh, be in this video we're gonna start with a little prep work to the piston uh, there's some work that needs to be done to it that'll make it easier to mount in the, the mill before we start uh, machining on it then we're gonna jig the piston up in the mill and uh, get it all true and square and in the right locations and stuff and then uh, the last thing to do is uh, we'll bore the bosses uh, out to a final dimension uh, the bosses will not be complete in this video but uh, the, the the diameters of the bores will be complete and then we'll be able to move on to the next step so we'll start over on the lathe, getting ready to uh, work on the mill here. This uh, piston um, on the right side there is the head of the piston. You need to turn that dimension down to the rest of the piston diameter, uh, just because that's the part that was in the chuck when we were cutting the ring grooves in the last video. And then that hole there, uh, partway down the uh, side of the piston there, we'll talk about that in a little bit, but that's... Uh, uh, let's start with uh, machining that down. So I've got this um, dial indicator on here. I need to dial indicate this uh, back into the chuck, get it concentric. And uh, so this is kind of my setup. Uh, just going to roll it over by hand and um, then get it trued in. And then, then I can make passes on that and get it turned down to the nominal dimension. Um, and then this is a zoom in on uh, the dial indicator set on zero there just on the top of it and I'm rolling it over by hand and I've got it uh, dialed in pretty close uh, I'm pretty pleased with that uh, it's just kind of bouncing around just because it's on that rough casting okay here's my basic setup on the lathe uh, I got my tool in there kind of showing where I'm going to be cutting um, this isn't real critical on this uh, nose of this piston uh, most of it gets tapered as a last uh, procedure so there's a, a taper on the head of that piston so I just want to turn it down so it doesn't interfere with getting it in the mill um, so that hole there is uh, some exploratory drilling that uh, I did on uh, both sides of the piston where the bosses are that are cast in the, the inside of the piston there uh, did some basic measurements and then did some uh, uh, drilling with small drill bits to try to see that I was basically in the center of those bosses uh, and then I'll use that when I start boring out to uh, uh, find out how close I am to the center of the bosses and then I'll move it uh, uh, before I get to uh, final dimension so they're just there for uh, kind of eyeballing where I need to be when I start milling on the mill so here we go uh, three minutes into the video and finally making some chips here I'm um, just making some passes on here not uh, not too much too crazy here um, this uh, uh, setup I've got uh, the, the lathe is running about 210 rpm the camera just doesn't show it real well uh, taking about a, a 30 thousandths cut uh, seems to be pretty nice with this tool it doesn't cause a lot of deflection so um, just going to make a few passes here and get that turned down and then we'll get over on the mill. Let's take a listen to the uh, cut. Step two is uh, jig the piston up on the mill. Um, this just took forever. I spent uh, two days doing this. 
and if it wasn't for the help of a good friend with a lot of experience under his belt I would have taken a lot longer and I probably would have screwed it up so I'm really appreciative of that here we are over on the mill I've got the piston setting on my super spacer table uh, super spacer is a uh, indexable rotary head that uh, can be mounted vertically or horizontally. It's vertical right now. It's got a three jaw chuck so I've got to dial that in with a dial indicator to get that piston right in the middle of that uh, rotating axis there. I'm doing that with some uh, brass shims as you can see. Uh, get that dialed in uh, real good and then get it locked down. This uh, table has uh, uh, 15 degree detents that are highly uh, machined. They're very precise for indexing uh, around the, the uh, 360 degrees rotation and uh, that comes in uh, handy when you want to index an absolute known uh, amount of degrees. Uh, you can actually do uh, any degree you want. There's a graduated scale on there that's very accurate but uh, uh, in this case I want to be just absolutely 180 degrees uh, between those uh, boss uh, borings so I'm just going to use a super spacer for that. Uh, you'll notice that those uh, holes in the in the uh, skirt there are uh, bigger. I used a drill bit uh, to open those out a little bit, uh, make sure I was uh, pretty much in the center of those uh, cast bosses. And uh, now I can get a boring bar in there. So we'll get this thing trued up, and then uh, we'll get to making chips. We'll back up a little bit. Uh, here's. Uh, how I did the uh, boring when I was just opening the hole up. I trued it to the table and set it in uh, one of those T-slot grooves there and held it down with a clamp on the back side there and then there's a clamp on the other end there in the inside holding it down. I just bored that out, uh, opened it up a little bit more to make sure I was in the center of those bosses. Um, but then I went ahead and put it on the super spacer. Well, here's the final setup uh, dialed in. That took forever. Like I said before, um, I had to dial it in to the table uh, along the x-axis there of the table and then vertically as well uh, and front to back. So it um, took forever and the super spacers uh, in the horizontal position now and the boring head is ready to go. So uh, we're going to start making chips now finally. Here's a close-up of the uh, boring process. Um, sorry about the camera moving around. It's just uh, hard to hold it still that close. The um, uh, spindle speed's about 90 RPM. Hard to capture that on the camera. So uh, uh, anyway, so this is the, what I did for several hours, and let's give a listen to the uh, cut process. That's all the time I have for this video. Um, got the holes, uh, bosses drilled out there uh, to the dimension I need. Um, the wrist pin's not that big, so um, there are brass uh, bronze bushings that go in there that the wrist pin actually ride on, so we'll be making those in the next video. Um, but uh, for now, uh, I think one of the hardest operations on this piston process is. Uh, uh, behind me now and I'm glad and I've come out uh, learning quite a bit about how to jig stuff up and get started and, and building a lot of confidence on uh, doing this machining. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, I sure like reading all those 
and uh, like and subscribe if you like what we're doing here it sure does help the channel out and I really like uh, hearing the comments as well uh, one closing note um, the wrist the uh, uh, ring grooves are are not uh, uh, different sizes as they look in the picture that is just um, just the distortion of these GoPro cameras how they distort the uh, outside of the image there so they are all the same so uh, anyway so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video